What is going on, everybody? It's New York Sports Love here, back at it with another baseball video. And I'm going to be making a video today about Steve Cohen possibly buying the Mets. And now, we've already had rumors about him possibly buying the Mets uh, earlier, but uh, he, well, I think he kind of backed out. And now he's back in the race of possibly maybe buying the New York Mets. And now the Wilpons have been a complete disaster down there for the Mets. And, uh, I mean, they've been terrible owners. I mean, they, ha they've done, they haven't really helped that franchise out really that much. And uh, the Mets have pretty much been one of the la you know, one of the laughing stocks of the MLB for the past, you know, 10, 20 years. So, I mean, so, I, mean um, I think the Wilpons got to get out of there and the Mets can, you know, go back to being a better franchise. But I think the, Wil the Wilpons are just really bad owners. I think they got to get rid of them. But Steve Cohen is... is um you know, giving an offer, a uh, $2 billion offer. I think he might be the, I think he could be the richest owner in Major League Baseball. He's going to try to buy out the Mets for $2 billion. And um, this would be good for Mets fans because I'm pretty sure a lot of Mets fans pretty much hate the Wilpons and, you know, what they've done to the Mets. I'm pretty sure a lot of Mets fans would want the Wilpons gone. And it, it's very possible that Steve Cohen could step in over the Wilpons and buy the Mets for $2 billion. And um, I don't know when the last time we've had a billion dollar owner. It's probably been a long time. So uh, this is going to be a record breaking, you know, this is going to be a record breaking uh, thing for baseball. And uh, there's also, you know, A-Rod, A-Rod's also in the mix of maybe buying the Mets. We've heard rumors that Alex Rodriguez, obviously the, the former Yankee, of course, has, um, you know, there, there's been rumored, he's been rumored to buy the Mets. Him and Jennifer Lopez also might want to buy the Mets. There's a lot of, you know, a lot of different people who might want to buy the team. And I think anybody besides the Wilpons would be, you know, would be great for that franchise because the Mets have been, you know, the Mets are always seem to be a laughing stock of the franchise. They're definitely the worst team. You know, the Yankees have always been superior of the Mets, but maybe if the Mets can get a new owner, you know, start off fresh. I think that they have a pretty decent GM with Brody Van Wagenen, although a lot he's made some trades that haven't really panned out, but it's my, in my opinion, it's the player's fault, not his. You know, with the Edwin Diaz Robinson Cano trade hasn't really panned out in their, you know, the way they planned. But um, I do think Edwin Diaz can bounce back next this year, but um I think the Mets can. Uh, I think the Mets can definitely be a playoff team this year. Although I'm not, obviously I'm not a Mets fan. I'm a Yankees fan. But uh, there's nothing really to talk about. So I decided to make a video about this. I think the Mets definitely, ha you know, ha are capable of a pl of playoffs this year. You know, they have a great, you know, great starting rotation. They have a very decent offense. They have Pete Alonso, Conforto, McNeil. They have a great lineup. You know, down there, yeah, down there in Queens. So I definitely think the Mets could uh, definitely make a playoff push this year and maybe do well in the playoffs because the Mets have a great rotation. Maybe they can be the Nationals of last year. I'm not going to go far and say they win the. World Series. They made the World Series back in 2015. They lost to the Royals, but um, I think the Mets are definitely a very underrated team. I definitely think they have a chance of making the playoffs. And if the Mets can get with the Wilpons out of there, I think the Mets can be even a much, you know, much improved franchise with a pretty good GM with Brody Van Wagenen. And I think if they can get rid of the Wilpons, put Steve Cohen in there, a two billion dollar owner. I think the Mets could be a very good team, you know, for the next five, six years. So. Um, I kind of wanted to get a quick video out about the Mets possibly, uh, Steve Cohen possibly buying the Mets for $2 billion. He would, I'm pretty sure he'd be the richest owner in baseball history. And uh, this could be a record, this could be record breaking. Steve Cohen could be a billionaire owner. And this is going to be pretty crazy. So we'll see what happens. And uh, I don't, even if he does buy the Mets, I don't know if he'll, you know, I don't know if he'll become the owner right away. It could be the Wilpons for, no, for another couple of years. But uh, Steve Cohen is possibly buying out the Mets for $2 billion. And I, I, I'm pro I probably have some Mets fans who watch this. So put it down in the comments below if you're a Mets fan. What are your thoughts on this? Do you think you will? Do you think you won't? And uh, what are your thoughts on the Mets this year? Do you think they'll be a playoff team? I'm pretty sure most Mets fans would think that because I really like their roster overall. So that's going to do it for this video. Um, also, also, do you think, uh, you know, J-Lo and A-Rod could also possibly buy at the Mets? I also think that's a possibility. You know, A-Rod got a, you know, big contract by the Yankees, so he definitely has a lot of money as well. And, and you know, he's one, he's one of the most highest paid baseball players of all time. So I think A-Rod definitely has, you know, definitely has a shot of buying the Mets as well. But uh, who do you think will buy at the Mets? Do you think it'll be Cohen? Do you think it'll be A-Rod? Most, I think more likely I think it'll be Cohen because he's a billionaire. And, uh, I mean, he's filthy rich. So I definitely think Cohen probably should buy off the Mets. And I definitely think the Mets can be a better team when if the Wilpons are gone, because the Wilpons are just a cancer for that team. So that's going to do it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll talk to you guys next time. Peace.